Greetings friends, Steven here, and welcome to Gamer Hall. This is Gamer Hall episode 53. Our recording date is Sunday afternoon, April the 8th. Uh, man, these are coming up faster than I was expecting. Uh, it always feels like there's nothing to buy, but then <laughs> I guess I find things after all. So, uh, yeah, let's get rolling. Our backdrop item today was originally going to be the t-shirt I'm wearing right now, but of course I'm wearing it, so I might sneak an image in. Uh, yeah, here, here's the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. Check it out. It's cool. It's one of these hunting club series, uh, Monster Hunter shirts. That's a uh, bezel geese. Uh, one of the more amusing monsters in the game. One of my favorites. And, uh, I'm wearing it right now. So, of course, uh, I didn't want to have it as a background item. But what we are seeing now is, uh, a year or two old. This is, a uh, Combiner Wars, uh, Bruticus. From the Compaticons, Transformers, Combiner Wars line. He's a big dude. And of course, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five robots all stuck together to make one big robot. And that's pretty neat. Holds together pretty well, all things considered. But he doesn't really count. That's actually um, something I purchased maybe, like I said, a year or two ago or something. And uh, it took me this long to finally open all those packages and get them together, but I did, and there he is. So that's neat. So let's move on to some uh, current pickups. So we're going to start with these two over here. Uh, multi carts. I'm all about these multi carts now. Uh, you can order these in off of eBay or I don't know. Uh, what's it? What's that thing people use? I don't know. Uh,. But uh, I was actually thinking of doing a separate video for these, and I still might, so wait and see about that. But uh, this is basically a ton of NES ROMs that you can play on your uh, Game Boy Advance. And this one here, and they come with these cases, by the way, which is a nice touch. Is a 369 in one, no repeat, Game Boy Advance. This has uh, some NES ROMs, some GBA ROMs, and all of that. And uh, they work pretty well. I might go into, like I said, I might do a review and we'll go into greater detail as to the uh, the specifics of those, but uh, Alibaba, that's it. <laughs> uh, Alibaba is probably a good site to find those as well. But uh, these were, I picked them up off of eBay and I think they were maybe around 10, 10 bucks each, 10, 15 Canadian, of course. And I would say they're worth it, especially if, uh, you're, if you have a GBA on hand, which I often do, and... Uh, even GBA games, like a lot of the uh, more popular, of course, Mario games, as an example, will be pretty expensive. So you can buy this guy here, and you'll have like ten Mario games in one in one cart. So you don't even have to switch out a cart. But of course, you can run that on your proper GBA hardware, which is pretty neat. Pretty neat. But that's not to say that I am not buying legit carts because we're about to take a look at a whole bunch of them. Uh, what was our grand total here? About 18 bucks. Uh, our local shops, uh, Epic Games and more. As I've mentioned in the past, they have a, uh, $2 bin of games. And, uh, they actually refilled the bin a bit the last time I was there. And I picked some more up. So let's take a look. Uh, this actually isn't a game. It's an Xbox 360 memory card. 256 megabytes. Uh, the Xbox 360 I bought uh, from a local ad for not a lot at all actually came with one of these, but uh, that second port is empty, so now I can put that in there and it'll match. So, of course, these are all going to be two bucks and maybe a little bit more of tax. So, despite the sticker, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Uh, Super Dodgeball Advance by Atlas. It says Atlas on it, so it's got to be good, right? So, eight bucks, that's wrong. It's two bucks. I think that's one of the Kunio Kun uh, sports series games. So, that's neat. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that, so I'll give that a go at some point. Next up, who doesn't love the Attitude Era? It's WWF. There is still an F there. Uh, what does that say? Attitude, get it? Acclaimed sports. You got The Rock, you got Stone Cold, Triple H, Mankind, Undertaker, all the greats. That is, of course, a Game Boy Color game. I don't... I'm I'm keen to try this. I don't know if it's any good or not. But I'll know soon enough. Yeah, Pac-Man Collection. Once again, sticker price. Eight bucks. That's the wrong. It's These are all two bucks, so don't believe the stickers. Uh, okay, so 
I had this actually really close to my kitchen. I was washing some dishes and a bit of water splashed onto the sticker, but I don't know if you can tell where it landed. Hopefully not. So, hopefully, uh, can I see anything there? Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's good. I know where it landed. If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's in the upper right. You can kind of see just a little bit, but the sticker uh, is pretty resistant to... Uh, to kitchen water <laughs> which is good because of course one of the important things collecting these sort of things is that we not uh, get the stickers wet so pac-man collection yeah, yeah. i like pac-man i'm looking forward to trying that out and uh, scooby-doo two-pack uh, cyber chase and mystery mayhem by warner brothers dhq don't know haven't tried them yet but i mean two in one cart legit two in one cart that is two bucks Hell yeah. Uh, SRS Street Racing Syndicate by Namco. Two bucks. As you knew. Uh, I think this is one of those iffy uh, 3D, like PS1 style graphics uh, 3D racing games. So I'm, I'm, I'm keen to give that a go. Like all these, I'll just, if, I'm, if I know I'm going to be in the washroom for a, more than a minute, I'll certainly bring a bunch of these in there with me. That's where you do the best game reviewing. Next up, uh, Prince of the Sands of Time, the GBA version by Ubisoft. Should be good. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a 2D uh, side-scrolling, like the old original style Prince of Persia games. But of course, with the more recent PS2 uh, game story and all that, I'm sure there's some time rewinding action to be had there. Next up, uh, oh, focus there it is. Uh, $14 now down to $2, pretty good. Now the wrestling game, this time Survivor Series by THQ and Jax, Jax Pacific, Jax Pacific, hmm. probably good. Uh, I think this one's going to another 2D uh, sprite based game, so that's cool. And that was it from my $2 bin haul. Uh, like I said, that was all those after, of course, the two multi-carts from eBay. That uh, was about an eight, $18 purchase, which is pretty good. <sighs> Uh, what do we got next? Okay, so, um, a different store downtown that sells, uh, movies and retro games and the like. Uh, I actually traded in a bunch of movies that I no longer wanted, and I had just enough to pick these two games up. Uh, still in these gross covers from last episode. Uh, finally, <laughs> the latest Care Bear obsession has, uh, led me to Care Bear's Care Quest by Game Factory. It's not... It's not an awful game. It's just like a bunch of very child-friendly mini games. Uh, there's really not much to say about it, though. It's very, very basic gameplay. And uh, along with that, uh, SeaWorld Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures. I don't remember if I've tried this. I think I did. Yeah, I tried this. It was an awful lot like Echo the Dolphin, but now, of course, you're playing as a an orca slash killer whale. So that's pretty fun, I guess. Game's not creepy, you know. Three bucks. And those were the sticker price. Alright. So next up, what do we get? Ah, yes. Uh, so, Power of the Prime, the current Transformers line. We've been stuck with Wave 1 uh, since Christmas. And it's now, what, April? So it's been a long wait, but we finally have the start of Wave 2. As you can see, unfortunately, they haven't been opened yet. Only enough, only so much time in the day, but we'll get to them pretty soon enough. And uh, these were the Legends class, the three of Wave 2, so it's good to finally see Wave 2 reaching the West Coast. Battle Slash, he is a white helicopter man. That's about all he does. I haven't done any tour reviews in a while. Um, it's a, I actually did a Totaku uh, video, so check that out. Uh, I don't have them here, they're over... Way over there, it's fine. If you want to see more of more of the Totakus, just uh, check that video. So, now what's neat about that guy is that uh, this guy here, Road Trap, the two of them actually combine into one robot, which is pretty neat, especially for uh, this smaller, smaller size of bot. Um, it's funny they don't really show that feature. Am I seeing it anywhere? Like, would you even know they combined? You'd think that would be a big selling point on the package, but I'm not... Huh. 
Well, it doesn't even show them, but they're, they're called duo cons because you know, two bots become a bigger bot, which is pretty neat. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing that at some point. And this guy here, Autobot Tailgate, who's actually a repaint. Uh, this guy just happened to have Wind Charger. So, oh, he's already dusty. Dust man, I'm telling you. Comes for us all. But there he is again now in uh, white and with a different head sculpt. A much better looking head sculpt compared to this horrible, horrible head sculpt. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I like the red paint more, but you know. Uh, I actually kind of really like the uh, the green that goes with it, though. It's a nice, uh, nice color scheme there. Zoom. Okay, next up, um, as you can clearly see and know from my channel history that I've been uh, doing a lot of toy buying lately for whatever reason, and Matchbox cars are really darn neat, and they're only a buck. Sometimes they're a buck fifty. Ironically, if I go to Walmart, they're a dollar. If I go to Dollarama, the dollar store, they're a dollar fifty. So what can you do? So we'll just flip through these real quick. I've got some that are open, some that aren't. These ones obviously are not opened. That's a big ass truck. I really dig that they're doing these weird, crazy construction vehicles. Get a train there. As you can see, a lot of metal, metal parts, which is always nice. Honestly, I think they've got more detail on them than a lot of the match or the uh, Hot Wheels cars. Better price, better quality. Go figure. And of course, with my work, I see a lot of more of these bigger trucks and a lot of rams and jeeps and all that, so maybe it's rubbing off. But uh, a lot of neat little vehicles here. Well, it's like an excavator sort of thing. Q. Some of these, like this one, will have moving parts. Like I'm sure that arm will go up and down, and the uh, the blue part there will probably spin around, because you can see on the back there's a, a scoop a shovel. Whatever you call it. Hovercraft. That's funny. They're not just cars. Of course, we saw there was a, a train there a moment ago. Yeah, that one. I like how, how big the train is in the case. It's just like taking up all the space. All the space. Take it up. Speaking of space, we got plenty of couch space here. Let's, uh, let's expand out a bit. Okay. Got another, uh, like a digger, shovel, excavator thingy there. And we got this really flat guy. What's this all about? Fascinating. All these really fun, fun looking vehicles. So yeah, those are fun. Good for kids, I'm sure, of course. Uh, cars, car toys today may lead to a rewarding career for kids in the future. It didn't for me. My job is not at all rewarding, but anyways, that's a different story for a different time. How are we doing on time? 13 minutes. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, some pickups from the old Salvation Army. Total price of about $16. So here's the only uh, thrift bot I picked up for this whole episode. $6.99. It is Baboom, the uh, Beast Wars. It's like a baboon that turns into a like a angry looking dude. Kind of get like a buzz cut there. You can see his head. Uh, this one I actually have this guy already, but uh, I didn't have the manual for him, and this actually comes with the manual, so. And even still, like, six ninety nine, like, these guys. Uh, forty three sixty five. Unfortunately, when I picked them up, they were not on sale. There was recently a Hasbro winter sale going on, but they didn't put them out until that sale was over, which is kind of bullshit, but. Uh, the neat thing about Canadian Toys R Us is you can hold on to the receipt, and if a sale does come on for these figures later on, they'll usually give you that difference back if you have the receipt. So, pro tip for Canadian toy buyers out there. But yeah, like compared to like this big Gorilla Man versus these very small modern figures, pretty pretty decent price at $6.99. Uh, this is actually, though, a backup figure because I have one of these already. I used to actually have two. Uh, I bought one of these um, from Value Village in one of the baggies, usual story. But unfortunately, with that one, uh, I don't know where it had been kept, but that toy just stunk. It was gross. It was a dirty, dirty monkey. And um, I didn't want to... I was like, no, you you a smelly toy. I don't know what happened to you, but no. I just threw it out. I didn't want 
I didn't want to redonate it or anything because it was just gross. Like I don't know what they did to the toy, but hopefully this guy does not smell. Um, also worth noting that I'm pretty sure this was in their auction case for a month or two, and there were others with him, and I guess they just didn't sell, which is strange because I thought I put like a very very uh, cheap uh, bid on it, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever, I got plenty of other things, if not, if not more Beast Wars figures. And of course, our local toy show is coming up at the end of the month, so that should be fun and expensive. Next up, the same purchase, or the same day I purchased this guy, I picked up some uh, Star Trek TNG movies. So we got the first one here, Generations, three bucks. I watched it, it was fine. They're basically just episodes of the show. I mean, the show was already an hour long, not including commercial breaks, of course. So these are around the, the length of two, like a two-part TV show episode. So we got Generations, we got First Contact. This is the one where they go back in time because the Borg screw with the time and they got to go back in time and then they help the guy make the warp drive and all that. Eh, it's fine. And finally, I just watched this one today, the third TNG movie, uh, Star Trek Insurrection. That was a pretty good one. It's a fun little story. Definitely felt like a uh, an episode of the show. And unfortunately, though, there's actually a fourth one as well, and I don't have that yet. So I'll have to go back and maybe... I'm guessing someone just gave out, gave their whole collection away, and that was uh, what was there at the time. But maybe maybe it's someone bought it, or maybe I just didn't see it that day. So three bucks each. I mean, I'll probably pick up the last one, too. Why not? Alrighty. Next up, uh, I'm pretty sure I showed it before, the Zenogre. But now I've got the Rathalos Pop, Final Funko Pop Games, Monster Hunter 293. This is a Rathalos. He's a basically a flying dragon. And once again, good weight. I don't want the feline and hunter as much. Sonogar and Rathalos are the cool ones out of this line. Sticker Brace 1169. Pretty good. Pretty good, I figure. <laughs> I don't remember if I did a Zenogre video separate. I might do that and show this guy off again as well. Uh, I didn't open the Totaku nut yet. I still might. But these are easy to open and just close again. If you want, just keep them in the box. Because, of course, you can stack them up and make a tower of Funkos, as people often do. And finally, just a couple more things here. And I picked this up yesterday. Astro Boy, the complete series, five disc set. If we can get some focus going. No? Okay, we don't have to focus. There it is. But $4. Pretty good deal, I think. I'm not sure if I'm really, honestly, much of an Astro Boy fan. It's basically Mega Man, but I like Mega Man more. But hey, you know, 4 bucks. Big ass uh, 5 disc collection, sure. I'll give her a watch at some point. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And finally got a good old Valley Village purchase. These were both in the movie section, which is great because uh, I'm sure one of these would have cost more than, what was it, uh, $2.99? Yeah, Genesis Evangelion, Death and Rebirth. I might have this already, but I mean, it's anime, and it's one of my favorite animes. This is where things start to get uh, pretty intense in the show. Good stuff. Finally, Nintendo GameCube, Tales of Symphonia. Which is neat because this is a two disc game. Manual is a bit wrinkly, but you know. Three bucks, two disc, GameCube game, an RPG, JRPG. Sure. Sure, let's go. Let's give her a go. Oh, alrighty. Well, there you go. Uh, so that's it for the pickups we have. Uh, we do have my new favorite segment, the things I didn't get but sure thought about getting. Let's take a look. Um, did I show the Basil t shirt? Yeah, we showed that right at the start. Unless I forgot to edit it in, but I'm sure I remembered. Uh, next up, uh, a couple of VHS. There was a Tremors VHS and a Masters of the Universe VHS. The Masters of the Universe one, aka He-Man, was pretty tempting. But I don't need it. It was kind of beat up. Uh, next up, uh, you can find these at Toys R Us, assuming your country still has Toys R Us. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 pins. These are neat, but they are random. You don't know which one you're getting. And I think they were like 7 bucks each for a very small pin. That's kind of... No. I'm not okay with Nintendo tax anymore. I don't need it in my life. So, those stayed where they were. Uh, next up, 
uh, over at EB Games, which is neat because they now carry Transformers stuff. Not these guys as much. These were unfortunately in the movie line, which are okay. But uh, the two have the uh, the movie tax on them. This was a Transformers Studio Series Starscream. Uh, one of the more controversial Starscream designs. But when you have the, the toy in hand, it is pretty neat. But that price, even with the, um, the edge card discount, is kind of expensive. So if I'm bored enough at work one day, I might pick that up. But otherwise, we'll see. And finally, something I saw the other day, and this was a tricky decision. I did pass on it, but I was tempted to go back for it. But by the time I was tempted to go back for it, the store was closed because everything around here closes way too early. Uh, it was a blue Nintendo Wii, and that would have been 40 bucks. but I have a coupon there which would have made it about 30 bucks. Uh, they were kind of busy when I saw that, and I took that picture, so I was like, mm, I'll think it over. I don't need a Wii. I've got two already. Uh, it's blue, though, so that means it's special and unique. But mm, I don't know. I don't particularly need it, but it would be fun to have. But you know, thirty bucks. Like the, you can buy a lot of Matchbox cars for thirty bucks. <laughs> buy a lot of Star Trek DVDs and this and that. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, that's it. That's it for Gamer Hall. This was episode fifty-three. Uh, feel free to check me out streaming games at catmax underscore gaming or i'll be on my friend uh, born's channel that's born for the fight born uh the number four and then the fight and we're we'll often play monster hunter world over there so maybe come on by say hello but otherwise that's it everyone thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye everybody bye bye look at all this crap yeah yeah I like these guys. These are guys. These guys are cool. I want them to be cheaper though. <laughs> Hang on to your receipts, people. All right. We'll see you next time.